in the last video we were learning about the different types of VLANs and I've covered the default VLAN which defaults to VLAN 1 I've covered the data VLAN which are the VLANs you use to hook your users up to I've covered the management VLAN which is the VLAN that gets the IP address so that you can telnet or SSH into the switch through the management VLAN right and we need to cover the native VLAN and the voice VLAN so let's talk about the native VLAN now the native VLAN is used in relation to trunk ports or trunk links so we've got two switches here we've got VLAN 1 we've got VLAN 50 and we even have VLAN 99 over here for management now what we need to do is we've um, we've set up a trunk and the trunk is trunking VLANs 1 through 99 right and what that means is and what that means is as traffic travels across the trunk the trunk is using protocol 802.1q and the 802.1q protocol is a trunking protocol that puts tags on the packets as they traverse the trunk and the tags identify which packets belong to which VLAN right so if PC over here on VLAN 50 is talking to this other PC on VLAN 50 as those packets travel across the trunk they're gonna get a tag on them that identifies them as belonging to VLAN 50 that way the switch on the other end knows which VLAN to put those packets onto right so um, it's a tagging protocol that is a trunking protocol that is used right for sending VLANs across a trunk now if you have a device let's say a non Cisco device right a non Cisco switch or some type of uh, other device that does not support 802.1q VLAN tagging right then what will happen is as it gets as that traffic gets to the Cisco switch the Cisco switch will put that traffic onto the native VLAN which if it's not configured will default to VLAN 1 and traffic destined for the native VLAN right which is untagged traffic does not get a tag it just goes across the trunk and it goes and the trunk knows to put it onto the native VLAN right so um, this untagged traffic if you don't configure it right if you don't configure the native VLAN it's going to default to VLAN 1 so you know devices would know what VLAN those are going to be on so it's good protocol to um, set up or configure the native VLAN so that's what we should do right now so what we'll do is we'll open up this switch and right I'm going to I'm in um, privileged mode right here and just do that clear that out for you and what I want to do is I need to create the native VLAN so I'll say um, VLAN 80 we'll call it VLAN 80 and we'll say name native right and so now that we have VLAN 80 what I'm going to do is is I'll exit out of here control C and I'll do a conf T to get into global config mode and what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the native VLAN on the switch on port FA01 which is the port I'm using for my trunk port right so and before I do that I'm going to show you that show interfaces FA0 slash 1 right show interfaces FA01 and then switch port and if we do that you can see that on FA01 on FA01 we see that it's a trunk port right administrative administrative and look here trunking native mode VLAN 1 default so the native VLAN has not been configured so it's defaulting to VLAN 1 just like I said so what we're gonna do is hit more spacebar for more we'll configure that so we'll say conf T interface FA 0 slash 1 to get into that interface right our trunking interface and then we'll say switch port trunk 
and then watch what happens if I put a question mark here not just allowed there's the native command so we'll say native VLAN 80 so switch port trunk native VLAN 80 right and that's it I'll do a control C and then I'll do a show interfaces FA01 switch port again and you can see that let's see here if we can see it trunking native mode VLAN 80 right we can also do a show interfaces trunk and it'll show here also that F port FA01 trunking mode is on 802.1Q the trunking protocol native VLAN 80 right so this native VLAN is for backwards com compatibility or compatibility with devices that do not support 802.1Q VLAN tagging right now to finish this off what we would need to do is is go into the other switch and also set up notice the other switch sees right away native VLAN mismatch discovered with the other switch CDP that's great Cisco discovery protocol native VLAN mismatch it's happening at layer 2 automatically right um, spanning tree protocol um, so it's actually discovered that already so that's pretty cool so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say enable uh, right conf t VLAN 80 notice now I'm in config VLAN mode now I'm gonna say name native right exit conf t interface fa0 slash 1 sw tab switch port trunk native vlan 80 right look at that see consistency restored spanning tree unblock consistency port unblocking fast ethernet 01 on vlan 00 consistency restored so we were able to solve that problem all right so now now for testing that out I would need to send traffic across the trunk that is not 802.1q compliant and then we could see that the um, trunk would send that traffic across without the 802.1q it would go onto the native VLAN and it would then be on VLAN 80 let's say so all right in the next video we're going to do voice VLAN and we're going to set up a VoIP voice over IP phone and we're going to put that onto uh, the voice VLAN